A VPN or a virtual private network allows you to create a secure connection to another network over the internet, ensuring your data remains private and secure. In this tutorial, we will set up an open VPN server, which is a popular open source software for creating VPNs. Let's start by updating our system and installing the necessary packages. Before we begin, please subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated with our latest tutorials. Your support helps us to create more valuable content. To update our system, simply type in sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade space hyphen y. Then we'll put in our password. And it's going to go ahead and update and upgrade it. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Great. Next, let's install OpenVPN in Easy RSA. It's a package for managing certificates. Sudo apt install then we want to install open vpn so open vpn space easy rsa space dash y then we hit enter now it has installed open vpn and also easy rsa we need to set up a certificate authority or ca to create a certificate required for the vpn First, let's copy easy RSA scripts to a directory where we will work. So, make, oops, great, let's confirm, and yes, we have our OpenVPN CA over here. Now let's go ahead and CD into it, CD. Let's confirm, and yes, we are in the OpenVPN Certificate Authority file. Now it's time for us to edit the VARS file to set up the Certificate Authority variables. To edit it, simply type in nano. I'm going to use nano text editor in doing this. It's not actually um, very necessary, but for the sake of this tutorial, we are going to Display how it is done. Great. So now this is the main file for the, this is the outlook of the VRS file. And you can find and modify different lines of code, preferably, preferably these guys over here. So you can modify them. If you don't want it to be in the United States, you can change it to UK. You can change the country to different countries, such as uh, maybe Lagos. Um, you could change your email address and also your organizational unit. And once you're done, all you have to do is save it by pressing Control O and then Control Z. However, not done any work here, so we're just gonna exit it. Now let's build the certificate authority. Before that, we have to source the VARS file and clean any existing key. I don't think there's any key, existing key since it's still a relatively um, newly installed OpenVS. But however, let's let's see what happens. You appear to be sourcing an easy file. This is no longer necessary and it is allowed and blah 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 blah. Wait, let's go ahead and clean and see what happens. Oh. Exactly. So now let's move on. So now let's build the certificate authority. To build it, simply type in easy RSA space build 
ca then we hit enter it's telling me it does not exist perhaps we need to run the initiate package great we first of all have to initiate the easy rsa before we could we can start all those things so to initiate it simply type in easy rsa and instead of build we initiate it init dash pki great now that is initiated now let's go ahead and then try building this time again so build and they're asking me for a pass key a pass phrase so let me type in my pass phrase right now enter confirm it by enter and they're asking me for a common name i could just go ahead and press enter to use the default um, names so that is done and now let's move on to the next agenda to generate the server certificate and key you can just type in easy rsa space build server four then server low pass then we hit enter confirm our request by typing yes and then our the the, the passphrase we set in earlier which was great and that is done next is to generate the client certificate and key you can replace the we are going to use the word client but however you could exp, you could replace the client with any identifier you choose but we're going to use clients in this one so and instead of server we say client let me say client one the clients dash four i would say client one no pass now hit enter we want to confirm it by typing yes and then our pass phrase and then that is also done now finally let's generate the diffie hellman's parameters or also known as the dh parameters so to generate the diffie hellman's parameters simply type in easy oops, rsa space gen for generate dash dh for diffie hellman's parameters then we hit enter then it's going to go ahead and generate the parameters depending on the speed of your pc it could take at least two minutes for this process to get done great our diffie hellman's parameters appear to be okay and we can move on now let's configure the open vpn server i actually don't have a running server here right now but for the sake of the tutorial let's go ahead and demonstrate how you would configure an open vpn server so before we can do that let's first of all copy the server configuration file to the open vpn directory to do that simply type in sudo copy for cp space it's in the usr file i mean usr directory i believe it's in the share doc open vpn examples great space and we are copying into our open vpn folder so dash etc open vpn and then we hit enter and that is done so let's now open the configuration file and see how we can edit the server configuration. Um, let's see how we can edit the server's configuration file. So to edit the server's configuration file, simply type in sudo nano. We are going to use nano text editor in doing this. So 
etc open vpn nice server loads conf then we hit enter great so again this is not necessary but for the sake of the tutorial to make it as detailed and informative as possible you can also edit to the the, the the open server the configuration file here for the parts or the the the, the parts of interest if that's correct to see would be this three guys over here so you edit your configuration down here so now once you are done changing whatever you want to change here you could now just rise it up by saving it pressing ctrl plus o and enter but i have not done any changes here so i'm just going to press ctrl plus x to exit from the screen now let's start and also enable the open vpn services so that it runs anytime we boot our pc so to start the open vpn services and also enable it we have to type in sudo system ctl not ctl this time um ctl enable open vpn at server Hope this time it works great so now since um that is done let's now go back and see if we can feed the initial start command great so now it's enabling once we turn on our pc and turn it on off again once we turn off our pc actually and turn it on again everything should be well the servers are now enabled so anytime we boot our system it's going to connect automatically to the open vpn Setting up a private VPN on Kali Linux enhances your system security and privacy. With this setup, you can securely connect to your home network or office from anywhere in the world. Remember to practice these steps to become proficient in VPN setup and management. Don't forget to subscribe to the Ultra Blue channel for more in-depth tutorials and tech guides. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And share with your friends. Your support helps us to create more high quality content.